And my, today's topic is a really exciting one in that it is God is busy with me. God is busy with me. How many of us have ever felt like, yo, I'm not making this thing. Or I feel pressurized because you meet somebody else who's spiritual. And you go, geez, I don't measure up to that guy. I mean, I can't tell you how many times in my life I've sat somewhere and I've actually felt inadequate. And I felt like, yo, God, you're dealing with that guy. He's growing so much and he's doing this and that. And I look at my life and it's just like, yeah, so I've just come through one battle and then there's another battle and there's another this and another that. And, and I'm going, God, how come is it that they seem to get this thing to work and I don't? You know, and I often used to sit down and condemn myself. Often I used to sit down and go, yes, I'm just not on that level or I'm not there. While I want to take all that pressure off you today, all of it, because God showed me something. And this one verse shifted my entire focus. And I'm going to help us today. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Philippians 1 verse 6 reads the following. It says this, being confident of this very thing, confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work, he who began a good work in you, will complete it until the day Jesus Christ comes back. What does that mean? I can sit down and relax because God has started a work. And God is going to finish the work. It's not for me to fix this. It's not for me to measure up. It's not for me to go and do what everybody else is doing. I understand it now, years later. Okay, I've been serving God for many, many years since primary school. I have loved the Lord with all my heart. When I went to high school, I, all I wanted to do was go to Bible school and, and serve in the ministry. I mean, my nickname at school was Padre. So I have really, I'm you know, we joke, I'm one of those guys that are like born saved. But the issue is, the people around me seem to have it easier than me. And the people around me seem to um, be able to get victories faster than me. And I do sit down and fight all the time to get these things done. But let me tell you something, it was part of the equipping to where I am today. It has to do with where you're going as to what your training is. I do not have the same training as a fighter jet pilot than the mechanic who fixes the plane. Listen carefully. They both need it. They're both very important, but they're very different training. And so in your life, you have a very different walk to me. And so we need to say, God, you are working in my life. You've started this work in me. You're going to finish it. So I'm going to just allow you to work in my life at your pace and work in my life when I need to get it done because you love me. I trust you. I believe you. And I'm trusting you for a supernatural miracle. And so today I want you to understand something. Do not copy somebody else. Don't copy them. Don't measure yourself by your spiritual walk. Don't sit down and say, God, well, Sometimes I feel unspiritual. That's not wrong. There are many times when I don't feel like I'm spiritual. There are many times when I just feel, listen, I'm tired. I just need a rest. I want to break. I don't even want to think scripture. I don't want to think uh, spiritual. I don't want to think helping people. People go, oh, that is terrible. No, it's not terrible. God is working on us. We need to be balanced. We need to be honest. And we need to be sincere. If you're not there, you're not there. And so God hasn't called us all to do the same thing. But what God has called us to do is submit to him and let him finish the work. And so right now, my path has been very different to most. But it's been needed for what God called me to do. Your path will be different from your neighbors and even your next of kin and everything else. So don't do the same the fault of copying them or doing or feeling like you've got to measure up or you've got to compare yourself to somebody else don't do that you say god you're busy with me so today i want to just celebrate that i want to celebrate a simple thing today it's very simple 
And we're all going to get it and we're all going to understand it. Jesus Christ, thank you for dying on the cross for me, paying the price. But thank you that you are working in me because you love me. I am special. I am unique. And you are going to do a unique job in me and I'm not going to be like anybody else. Because you chose me. You made me. You put me on this earth in this season for this time with my looks, with my attitude, with my uh, personality. I didn't create it. But God, I'm submitting it to you. God, you work with me at your pace in the way that you want to. All I have to do is submit. So folks, I wanted to have that pressure taken off. Don't try and become super spiritual. Don't try and be somebody that you're not. Be the best you. Because God loves you. And when you do that, you're going to see that God is going to work in your life in a miraculous way. And if somebody tries to put something on them, on you, <coughs> compare you or do something, you tell them, Dr. Arthur said, don't do this. All right? You need to get to the place where you are free of this thing once and for all in Jesus' name. So let's partake today as we celebrate our uniqueness. Let's celebrate that God loves me. He made me. He thinks I'm awesome. And if you need some time to catch up, it's okay. But God loves me and I love him and he's working on me. All I need to do is say, Lord, have your way in my life in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's celebrate that today. <coughs> on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. And he said, this is my body that was broken for you, for your physical and emotional healing. He took the cup and he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take it in remembrance of me. It was shed for your salvation, your protection and your provision. Lord, we come before you today and Lord, we thank you that you'll forgive us of any sin or any wrongdoing, any wrong action. Lord, anything, attitude that we've had in our heart, we ask you please to forgive us in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that you are moving by your spirit in our lives. Lord, I pray right now that you are going to do a supernatural thing in our lives. Father, I pray that you are going to make Jesus Christ so real to us. Jesus, I thank you that you've chosen me. Thank you that you died for me. Thank you that you love me. And Jesus, I thank you the most of all that you will finish the work that you started in me. Lord, I thank you that I can ask you right now to forgive me for comparing myself to somebody else. Forgive me for looking at somebody else and judging myself. Lord, I thank you that you made me unique and that you made me special and that you died for me. And Lord, right now, as we take communion, I come before you and we submit to you, Lord. And we say, Lord, come and have your way in our lives. We submit our lives. We ask you to lead us and guide us in the way that you want. In Jesus' mighty name. Everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together, saints. It's awesome to know that you're special, eh? It's awesome to know that you are unique. And what's really good is you know that there's not two of you running around. I want you to know that you are unique. You are special. Jesus Christ died just for you. He would have died if, on the cross just if you're the only one on this planet. It would have been worth it. So I want to just say, well done. All right, so we're going to pray over our physical healing right now. Lord, we come before you. We thank you, Lord, that we can just come. And Lord, we release the dunamis power of God and we command every symptom to bow its knee and to die in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you right now that you are moving by your spirit and there's a supernatural flow of your spirit. And Lord, I thank you that every symptom go. Lord, we are totally healed in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for your blessing. I thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Thank you for the prosperity that rests on us. And Lord, our bodies are 100% healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, so let's pray together. 
Lord, we just come before you and Lord, we pray and stand in agreement with the nations today. Father, as we stand in agreement, Father, we thank you that you are moving by your spirit. We come against every single demonic assignment against the nations and we reverse the curse. We restrict everything that Satan is planning in Jesus' name. Lord, excuse me, we thank you that you are moving by your spirit. And Lord, we thank you. We can speak life. We can speak blessing. We can speak authority over the nations. And we release the power of God over the economic sectors in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that level two will be through by tomorrow in Jesus' name. Lord, that the hospitality industry will be open in Jesus' name. Lord, that, that, uh, that um, uh, travel and the tourism, Lord, will bring in the finance in Jesus' mighty name. And that finance is going to come into our nation again. And that the economy of South Africa is going to be strong, prosperous, and blessed by the power of God. And Lord, I thank you right now that you are going to give the business people the wisdom that they need, the next steps. Lord, what do we do next? How do we do this? What do you do? Father, I pray for those divine connections. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord, that you are going to move by your spirit over our nation. Lord, I pray right now for the businesses. I pray, Lord, that every single person going out, Lord, that they will be protected by the power of God. Lord, I pray for those that are, that are in business. Lord, that they are going to get the wisdom that they need. I pray, Lord, for the people that are, um, that are building the altars. I pray that they're not going to grow weary, that they're going to be strong, and we are going to push this thing back in Jesus' name. And in Jesus' name, I thank you that every person who has got the virus, Lord, we command that virus to die and to dissipate in Jesus' name. And no deaths. We come against this in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you. That this virus leave our nation and to dissipate and never to return. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your power. And we thank you, Lord, most of all, for the fire of God that rests on our nation. And the purposes that you have for us as believers. Father, I pray for every single person that individually we will stand up in our, per in our, in our calling and in our destiny and release the anointing that is needed for the power of God to be seen around us. In Jesus' mighty name. Everybody said, Amen and Amen. So today, when we read this declaration, I want you to know that you are part of this thing. I want you to stand in agreement. Call this thing on in Jesus' name. And understand that it's by the power of God that we are where we are today. God is busy moving. And everybody's trying to say negative stuff. I'm telling you now, it's because of other agendas. It's not what's really going on. I'm telling you, we need to stand. We need to believe God. And as we do, we are going to see the companies blessed in Jesus' name. Let's go. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, Petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God in my life.